And welcome to another brand new episode of Jim's Magnificent Miniature Motor Cars Diecast Fans. For this episode, we'll be unboxing a brand new Porsche from Mini GT. This one being the Porsche 911 Carrera 4S in racing yellow. Without any further ado, let's get into the unboxing. Okay. So, in keeping with Mini GT's current uh, practice of coloring the packaging the same as the car, which I really like by the way, I really prefer it over the old white packaging with the artwork. So we have a nice like lemony yellow package for this. Okay, there goes the shrimp wrap, shrink wrap plastic. Let's see what we got inside. Yeah, sturdy lid there, okay. But here is the car. And there we go, oh yeah. There we go, that is really nice. Of course, it's pretty much what we've come to expect from Mini GT. Getting a good look at it here from all angles. Of course, it's not quite the mind-blowing experience that the Bugatti I unboxed in the last episode was. And in fact, okay, this is a just new unboxed car, okay? And yet here I am seeing some blemishes on the paint. Oh, well, they're just dust, fortunately. Easily wiped off, except for this little bit here. Hmm. I dare say, Mini GT, I'm detecting a few quality control issues here, right there on the rear wing. Looks great though, but not quite up to their usual standard of quality that I'm used to by now. I mean, you know me, I've been singing their praises for what, for the entirety of this series. And this one, well, this one's a bit of a miss. It's kind of hard to miss with a model this good, but yeah, the quality control issues are kind of rearing their head. So how does it stack up to this silver one? which is the Carrera S and not 4S that I unboxed a few months back. Well, I like the silver color better. I like uh, silver rims better than black ones. So I kind of like the, the choice of color there. And I gotta say the silver one has a cleaner quality control job. I mean, there were no blemishes that I could find on this one. The yellow one, well, right out of the gate you got you got this bit here on the rear bumper and on the rear wing which is kind of sad so okay i'm gonna have to dock mini gt a couple of points for this baby not a fan of the black wheels not a fan of the color choice and definitely not a fan of these admittedly minor lapses in quality control so i'm gonna have to give this one a seven out of ten yeah Okay, it's still it's still a great casting still same as this one here that I pretty much sure I gave like a 10 or something back in a few months back yeah but you know mini GT should also make it a point to make sure that no matter how good the casting is that they also get the quality control right and they kind of dropped the ball this time around still 7 out of 10 is a it's a very decent score it's a lot higher than some of the other models I've reviewed here Okay, so that's it for this episode. Hope you liked uh, this video's unboxing. And you know the drill. Uh, if you like what you see, give me a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to hear from you in the comment section, what do you think of my new uh, light source? I, if you'll notice, there's kind of a soft yellowy glow here. Uh, please let me know if you like it or if you'd rather I keep the relatively neutral lighting I've been using because I'm trying to experiment a little bit with my presentation here. Your comments would really be appreciated. Okay, thanks so much. And you know the drill. Again, if you like what you see, give me a like and a subscribe.